Hello friends, welcome to Power Electronics Lecture Series. I am Tunde Emmanuel. The topic of today's lecture is State Space Model or Boost DC DC Converter. The lecture will cover basic boost converter circuit, basic steps for modeling a boost DC DC converter in state space, then averaging method for state space modeling. Here is a basic circuit for boost DC DC converter. And you will recall the definition of boost converter that it takes an input voltage level and amplifies or stepped, steps it up to a higher level at the output. So we have V in as the input and the V out as the output which is to power the load represented here by a resistance then we have two switches a passive one which is a diode and a transistor active switch is a controllable switch now the boost converter switching works in two complementary modes uh, it works in closed mode operation and open mode operation. In closed mode, the inductive element in the circuit stores energy and the capacitive element discharges energy. While in open mode, the inductor discharges energy and the capacitor stores energy. And this is how the boost converter functions and under id condition two fundamental principles are behind the operation of a boost converter this includes the energy balance which is due to the inductive element and which is also known as both second balance principle then the charge balance principle which is due to the capacitive element in the in the system the uh, energy balance uh, dictates that the input energy equals the output energy at all times, while the charge balance implies that the input charge to the capacitor is equal to the discharge in the capacitor at all times. Now, a relationship between the input voltage and the output voltage uh, that has been amplified is given here the output voltage is equal to the input voltage all over 1 minus d this 1 over 1 minus d factor is the uh, it's now what makes the output voltage to be greater than the input voltage and this is derived based on the principle of charge balance and volt balance uh, as earlier mentioned. So the value of D which is the duty cycle ratio uh, ranges between 0 and 1 and D is always less than 1. Of course when D is equal to 1 V out is equal to V in. No, uh, when D is equal to 0 V out is equal to V in. Uh, there is no definition for this ends of V in over 0 if D is equal to 1 and that makes this uh, infinite undefined. Now it is to be noted by the function of boost uh, converter that V out will always be greater than V in. That is what the job that the boost converter is supposed to do. Now we look at the concept, another concept, averaging method, and this is used to analyze and design controller for power electronics uh, circuit. So the averaging method procedure, as it applies in the modeling of boost converter in state space, uh, as follows: first, we obtain state space model at closed mode. Uh, operation and again secondly we obtain state 
state space model at open mode operation of the boost converter. Then lastly, using the averaging method, the two models that were obtained for both closed mode and open mode are combined to obtain the final state space model. Now, here is the circuit diagram for closed mode condition of boost converter. Here, because the active switch is closed, then the passive switch must be open to follow the rule of complementary switching. Now, this loop is analyzed to obtain a dynamic, the, the dynamics of, of the behavior in this loop. Then this second loop is also analyzed to obtain a dynamic equation for this loop. Now here, V in is equal to VL, that is the voltage drop across the inductor based on the law of uh, Kirchhoff law, voltage law, law. And um, so we, we obtain uh, this equation. L di L dt is equal to V in. This is V in and this expression or this term here is V L, the voltage drop across the um, resistor. And we can see that it is storing energy. Now, the second uh, part of the circuit which deals with uh, the output voltage. Now, we before the switch the passive switch uh, here enter the open mode we have a current flowing in and this current is I I L the current this uh, uh, current flowing from the inductor which uh, which has now been cut off and is now equal to zero and from uh, catch off current law a, the algebraic sum of currents at a node is equal to zero but here is already zero. So we have zero plus. Now we have uh, here is zero, which will have been uh, I in is coming this way. I out is coming this way. So we have IC is equal to minus I out. Because I out I C is flowing from negative potential to positive potential, while I out, which is flowing through the load, is flowing from positive potential to negative potential. So I C is equal to minus I out, and from that equation, we obtain this: minus I out is V C over R, and I C is C D V C D T. So that is how we obtain these two dynamics equation. And uh, from the circuit, we can see that the inductor current is equal to is the same thing as the input uh, input current, and the uh, voltage drop across the capacitor is the same thing as the voltage output. Now, to define the state space variables, we say let x1 be equals to ir which is the input current and let x2 be equals to vc which is the output voltage then our output equation for the model will be y is equal to x2 which is equal to fc since fc well, vc is the output voltage now uh, at closed mode we obtain the state space model for the circuit when the circuit is in closed mode this is the state space model we obtain and uh, uh, and this is also given by uh, by this standard form x dot is equal to a1 x plus b1 u uh, where a1 is the dynamic of the states of the system and b1 is the uh, manner in which the controllable input is interacting with the system. Similarly, we look at the boost converter in open mode 
and you can see from here that the switch the active switch is now open and by implication the passive switch will be closed so we have a loop here then we have another loop here so we analyze the system based on this loop and this other loop so we have uh, these resulting dynamic uh, state equations from from the open mode uh, circuit and this is uh, from according to catch up voltage law v in is equal to v l and equals uh, plus v c so that v l will now be v in minus v c and since v l is given by l d i l d t it will be equal to v in minus v c that is for the first dynamic equation the second dynamic equation is obtained from here from current uh, from current law from catch off current law so i l is equal to i c plus i out and since we know i c is the dynamics that is is the one with the dynamics in this loop so we make i c the subject of problem so that i c will be i l minus i out so i c is c dv c dt which is go to i l minus i out which is vc over r r so now we obtain the state space uh, equation specifically for that open mode which is given by this uh, expression here so in order to combine the two uh, models we have to apply the method averaging method and uh, the procedure is that uh, if this is the uh, average state space which is given by x dot which equals a bar x plus b bar u then a bar is combining the two a from the two operation modes which is a1 and a2 then b bar is co uh, combining the dynamics in the in the two uh, operation mode which is b1 and b2 and you will find that a1 here is multiplied by uh, which is the uh, closed mode uh, dynamics is multiplied by the time interval when the uh, switch is closed and a2 here is multiplied by the time interval when the switch is open and the same thing applies to uh, the b vector d multiplied by b1 and 1 minus z multiplied by b2 and that is how this expression is obtained to find the average of the two uh, mod uh, models obtained from the two uh, uh, open uh, uh, of the two modes so uh, in summary attempt has been made at explaining basic concepts of boot converter we covered basic boost uh, converter circuit overview of averaging method and state space model of boost converter so I hope this concept as explained has been uh, uh, has been made clear to you please if you have any questions kindly indicate them at the comment section below so please don't miss my next next video lecture and in order for you to be notified kindly uh, subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the notification bell thank you